You have been working on your music for a long time. You've spent days and weeks in the studio, managed to play a lot of gigs, grew your following along the way and finally your moment is here. You have a hit. Now I actually don't really like the word hit because you can't define when a track really is a hit. So let's just say that you have a track that is performing really well and it has been opening doors for you. Now what? This is a really important moment in your career. Now that you've managed to reach your point, it's important for you to not change course. One of the most common mistakes artists make at this point is that they are afraid of not being able to deliver in the studio because they have fans now that expect something from them. In the music industry there is a saying, you're only as good as your last release. What this actually means is that the audience will judge you by you and your latest release. This sounds scary, doesn't it? Well, it really isn't because always remember that the fans that you've gathered along the way found you and liked you because of what you have been doing in the past. So no need to change course, always stick close to yourself. So now you've managed to get the attention you've always wanted to get. All the eyes are aimed at you. So why not make the best use of it while it's here, right? When you have a hit record, you actually manage to get a lot of people's attention and ultimately that's what you want as an artist. You want to be in the picture. A lot of people think it's the hardest part of being an artist, but spoiler alert, it's not. It's more difficult to stay on top than to get there actually. There are a few things that are important to stay relevant at this point of your career. You're only as good as your last release after all. Whenever you've reached the point of having a hit record, it's really important to stay consistent with your release schedule. People need to be fed with new music just like they need new food every day. On social media you do this by posting consistently and with your music you can do it by releasing consistently. A very good example of this are the Chainsmokers. When they've managed to get the world's attention with their biggest hit Closer, they had a choice. One, stop releasing music for a while and focus on other stuff like touring etc. And the second, prioritize on their release schedule. They choose to do the second option. They continue releasing more and more music. It just didn't stop. This all happened at the moment where they had the most attention possible because their track was being played all over the world. Every day, every hour, on every radio station. So what happens is that the whole world is looking to your social media pages. They're listening to your SoundCloud account, listening to your Spotify account, and at that moment you drop a new single. What do you think happens next? Yes, all the people that already had the chain smokers on top of their mind were being reminded of a new track that had the same vibe and sound as Closer. So chances are pretty big that the audience will love this as well. The result is a second hit track with millions of streams. After that they've made an even bigger move. They've collaborated with Coldplay, which gave them even more attention because now it's not just only their own fanbase who will hear their new track, it's Coldplay's fanbase as well. Creating more and more awareness all over the world made the Chainsmokers invincible. Now, let's break this story down in an easier digestible piece. This is how you decide what the best timing is to release your follow-up track. Define the moment in time when your track is at the highest level of success. Whether this is having a number one hit record on the radio or getting DJ support from live big artists. It's a success in some kind of way. This differentiates from which point you are in your career. So that's the moment for you to release your follow-up track. By doing this you will also maintain a relationship with you and your fans. Because you keep feeding them with new material when the first track is on its way back. You stay on top of mind with them. There's a small side note on the story that I just mentioned. Always remember that the quality of the track will be priority number one. Releasing a shitty track to maintain your release output won't get you anywhere in your career.